So today we're going to be having a look at the four essential chords you need to learn to play most pop songs. These chords are G, a D chord, an E minor chord, and a C chord. So there's literally thousands of pop songs you can play with those four chords. So if you can get these, it's really good. Let's take a look at the first chord. It's a G chord. Now, a G chord is your second finger on the third fret of the low E, first finger on the second fret of the A, and you can put your third finger down here on the third fret of the B, and your little finger just blow it on the third fret of the high E, and it sounds like that. Sometimes you see the G written this way. This makes it sound a bit fuller, and it also makes it much easier to change to a D chord, which is this. Don't if you noticed that when I went from G to D, I can leave that finger on all the time. So the D chord here, what's important about this one is don't play the open E and the open A. You're strumming from the D string, and your first finger is on the G string second fret, your third finger is on the B third fret, and your second finger is on the second fret of the high E. And it sounds like that. Don't play this. It will sound terrible. So there's the D. Next chord we've got is E minor. This is a nice easy one. Just your second finger on the second fret of the A, and your third finger on the second fret of the D. You can strum all the strings for this one. So we have G, D, E minor, and the last chord is going to be a C. So this one is a bit of a stretchy one, especially we have to go back to G afterwards. So C, if you put your first finger on the first fret of the B, second finger on the second fret of the D, third finger on the third fret of the A. For this chord, try not and hit that open low E. I'm strong from the A here. So the four chords we have is G, a D, an E minor, and a C. Now when we're starting guitar it's a little bit difficult to get all of those chords to sound nice. So if they sound a bit like this, just press down a little bit harder, keep your fingers nice and pointy and you can do that by pushing your wrist forwards and your fingers will go naturally pointy. So keep press down, keep them pointy and practice changing between those two chords really slowly. G to D. But they have to sound good and everything has to ring. See if you can get them to ring out for four. One. And do that with all the chords till they sound really smooth. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So when you get that, I'm going to play a little backing track for you now so you can join in with me. See if you can keep to the same time, but I'll go very slow. So we're going to play a G for four, a D for four, E minor for four, and a C for four. And I'll count you in slowly. Two, three, four, one. Stop counting now, see if you can strum along with me. So, one. One more time. Here we go. I'm going to finish on the G here. 
So how did you get on? You may find that was a bit tricky at first. The more you do it, the easier and easier it will get. And once it becomes easy, it's very easy to pick up new songs. So there we go. Hope that helps. Nice to see you. See you in the next video.